Okay, this isn't one of my normal videos. I was asked a question by Brendan. He's uh, one of my subscribers. And he asked me about the grind I have on my Continental Spindle Gouge. Right, now, we'll clear up something first. Right, a Continental Spindle Gouge, some people refer to them as roughing gouges. Mm, yeah, right, they can be used as roughing gouges, right? But technically, it's not. Right. Okay. If you have a look at the two flutes there, right? This one is a roughing gouge. You can see how deep the flute is. If I'm getting this angle right, right, you see how deep the flute is. Right. This one here is a continental spindle gouge. Okay. Right, now this is the way they come. Right, and you know when a roughing gouge comes, it's flat across the top. That's the way the top of a continental spindle gouge comes. It's rounded. Now, this is the one that Brendan was asking about. That grind. Right? Basically, it's got wings. Right? And it's got a sharper nose on it. Right? It's the two of them together. That's the way they come. And that's the way I grind them. Now, I did a video on... A crown bowl gouge. Right, I leave a link below, Brendan, and I'll stick one up there. Right, it's the exact same grind. Right, and the exact same method. Um, there's no point in me telling you what that angle is because that's my preferred angle. Not to mention the fact I know it's round about sixty. But it's not exactly 60. It's just that's my preferred grind. What I'll say to you is. Um, whatever grind you put on your bowl gouges. Use the same grind on this. Right. Now what you're going to have to do. And what I did. Right. Was. Right. That's the Wolverine. Right. And the Verde grind. Right. Continental spindle gouges do not fit in a Verde grind. They're too wide. So what I actually did is I made my own version of it. Now I made this when I actually made my own um, sharpening system out of scraps that I happen to have lying around the place. I did another video on that. And for anybody who's interested, I'll stick another link up there and there'll be a link below, of course. Right. Uh, and it's done the exact same way. It goes in, you get your two inches look down to make sure it's level that one's not just look down to make sure it's straight in the jig right. and it, you literally grind the exact same way right in it goes that's my mark see that little mark there that's the mark for my ball gear just, right and because I'm on a CBN wheel it never changes and it's literally just a case of and there's your grind. Right, as I said, it's exactly the same as the ball ground grind, and my angle at the front there is exactly the same. So uh, I hope that's helped you out, Brendan. I hope that's cleared it up. Now, uh, as I said this before, anybody who has a question and I need to do one of these short extra videos on it, I don't mind doing them, just say it to me. Right? But um, that's the grind for you, Brendan, and that's how you do it. Right? As I said, that's the way they come. Right? I always have a spare one of these because I go through a lot of these things. Right? That's the way they come, and that's the grind. That's it with the grind. Right? The advantage it gives you is it's a sharper point here so you can roll easier and you also get somewhat of a straight here right so you can very very clean like pull cuts on it and it cleans up stuff very well so i hope that's helped you out brendan uh, if you have any more questions just ask me and uh, don't forget leave a thumbs up if you want thank you